Want to model something you can't quite figure out? No worries. Soon you will have all the tools to model absolutely anything you want. Step 1. Get blueprints of the object you want to make. Either draw them yourself or check places like Google Images, Etsy, or DeviantArt. If you just want to practice, feel free to screenshot these ones. Step 2. Drag and drop the images into Blender. If that doesn't work, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and enable Import Images as Planes and try again. Then, we'll reset the images using Alt, G, S, and R, and line them up on the X or Y axis so it looks like a cross section of the object. To get rotations exact, start the rotation, then hit the axis you want it to rotate on, type in the angle, and hit enter. Then, duplicate it with shift D and rotate it so it looks like a cross. For the model setup, make a plane and rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Then turn on x-ray mode so we can see the image through the plane. Step 3. Modeling time. We can see that this potion is made of three different parts. The bottle, the handle, and the nozzle. Each of these gets modeled separately and then combined afterwards. Trust me, it is way easier to make a model piece by piece. As the saying goes, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. We'll start with the handle. Hit 3 on the number pad to go into a perfect side view. Then in edit mode, hit K to use the knife tool and trace the handle. Once that's done, hit enter to finish with the knife tool. Delete the uncut parts, help to turn off x-ray mode, and extrude out the handle and switch to a perfect front view with one on the number pad. Now, instead of having to make both sides separately, we can make them at the same time by adding a mirror modifier in a bit. With x-ray enabled again, we can select all the edges for each point and line them up using only the x-axis. With that done, we'll go back to object mode, select our object, and use Control a to apply all transforms of our object, or else the mirror modifier will not work. After that, apply it, and congratulations! you've created the first section of the model. For the nozzle and bottle, it is the same process as the handle, but we'd start with a cylinder and sphere respectively. Some tools you'll find very helpful include proportional editing, shortcut O, and you can scroll up or down to change how much it affects. The fill command, or shortcut F, which lets you select two edges and make a new face connecting them, or select an edge and hold F to continually fill the next available space. And finally, checker deselect, which removes every other vertice that you currently have selected which I would use to help model the crevices on the nozzle. If you want more tools to help with modeling, I highly recommend watching this. Deuces.